What is up and welcome back everyone. Today we're going to be talking about the Forester, more specifically skid plates. We're going to talk about what skid plates I run and what I run for armor. So let's jump into it. So if you guys are new or think you have missed something, you have not. Because I haven't really actually talked about what armor I'm using on my 04 Forester. And that's because we've kind of put it on as we put on other stuff here and there, but never done a full dedicated video towards it. So that is what we're going to do today. We're going to talk about the three different skid plates I have and put them on the Forester. Because I just had them off to inspect them and do an oil change on the Forester. So I thought now is the perfect time to show you guys exactly what I'm running. So let's start here at the back of the car. Actually the skid plate I'll be installing fresh today. So this is the last piece of my puzzle. So this is the rear diff skid plate for Subarus. Um, because Subarus use a rear diff in a lot of different cars, this actually fits for a lot of different Subarus, I believe Outbacks and even some Impreza's and maybe an STI. No, not an STI because it's different transmission. Everything but an STI of this era. So this, as you can see, will protect the rear diff from rocks, it's nice and thick, and it actually will mount pretty much up past the rear diff, so if I kind of come into something a little awkward, I won't be catching the connection between the drivetrain and the rear diff. So this, as I said, bolts on here, here, and here, and it's good to go. So let's go ahead, throw this on, and then move on to the next skid plate. And now with the back skid plate done, let's go ahead and install the transmission skid plate. So the transmission skid plate is once again, some nice aluminum skid plate. Um, this one's definitely taken some hits already. Um, I've had this on for a little under a year and it's taken some abuse as you can see. And it's definitely protected the transmission. So it mounts up on the front and then has a couple mounts here. So this one is a little tricky to install just because you gotta like get it in the right spot and then kind of like tighten the bolts one by one and make sure everything fits. So we're gonna go ahead now and toss this on the transmission. And with that transmission skid plate in, it's time to do the final skid plate, which also happens to be the easiest. The engine skid plate is just, again, just some um, aluminum. I think they're all the same thickness. I couldn't tell you off the top of the head what the thickness is, but it's the, the heavier ones, especially with those lower ones. I think this one's a little bit thinner, but as you can see, I'm still putting it to good use on the Subaru. Um, these are also something we're working on creating in Canada for Flat 4 Off-Road. Um, all of these we can get at Flat 4 Off-Road um, through some of our distributors, but we're looking to do our own Canadian made ones here for the front skid plates, because these are always a good one to start off with. And then you can always go with the transmission and diff a little bit later. So this one, four bolts here, 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 and over here. And we have it done and we have our Subaru all armored up again. So let's go ahead and put this on. And there you go, you now know what armor I'm running on my 2004 Subaru Forester off-road build. As always, if you have any questions, let me know down below and I'll be happy to answer them. And if you're in Canada and you're looking for some off-road parts, you know where to come at Flat 4 Off-Road. But that's going to be it for today's video and that's kind of the it for these last couple mods we're doing on the Subaru Forester. Now we're going to go on a couple of ventures, so look out for that in the next couple of videos. So as always, peace out and stay humble.